All right, so we can get some coke, good. Hey, so this weekend in Hollywood is the biggest weekend of the year. It's Oscar weekend. So I decided to get together with some of my best friends, rented a limo, got some champagne, and we're gonna talk about the Academy Awards 2013. My name is Devin Faraci, and this is Badass Digest. I'm joined uh, by, by some of the best people in the whole world, uh, Jeremy Smith of Ain't It Cool News. Jeremy, thank you for coming back. Uh, you have a trick for us? Uh, oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> uh, we have Amy Nicholson uh, of, of, of Movie Line and, and many other freelance uh, positions. Uh, Amy, good to see you. Many, with us many again. positions? That's terrible. Many positions. Wow. <laughs> a woman of many positions, Amy Nicholson. <laughs> and uh, Eva Anderson, uh, writer for Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, uh, Eva, thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, Eva, since you're the professional comedian, we're going to be expecting you to be funny. Oh, cool. So. Just like Thanksgiving. Say <laughs> <laughs> something funny. <laughs> so, it's good. We're gonna Ooh. Oh, there we go. Smooth. So we're going to <laughs> start. I guess the first question we have to discuss when we're discussing the Oscars is, does this make a difference at all? Is this just the worst, most, uh, the biggest circle jerk on the planet? You know, is this sort of like the bread makers all getting together and just jerking themselves off for making bread all day? Uh, it, it is to a degree, but it also, the perception of having won an Oscar and, uh, Everything that goes with it is important. Let's just go uh, down the list of the best uh, best picture. Uh, Amore, uh, which I think only Jeremy has seen. Amore had the problem of not entering the Oscar season as uh, a favorite. Right. There was a moment where one was like, oh, Silver Linings is definitely the favorite. Right. Then there was a moment where Lincoln's definitely the favorite. Then Argo was the favorite. Then Argo fell out. Then Lincoln was the favorite again. Then Zero Dark Thirty. You know, but now it's it seems to be now it's Argo. Argo it's, wins the Oscar. What's interesting is that it's one of these movies that you hated. I did not uh, like Argo. If that kid <laughs> was not important enough to Ben Affleck for him to show up or be friends with him, if he just called him once and was like, "I love you," why is that kid in the movie? We have to know in every movie where there's somebody who has a job that's really important. Mm -hmm. We have to know that on one level, this job is destroying them by ruining their family. But every single movie has that. It's that crazy. That made me crazy. It felt like the kid was like, "Oh, we gotta add three beats with some sort of kid." So mm -hmm. that we know that it's bad if he dies. I don't know why it has to be a kid in these movies and it can't just be like a dog. Yeah. And he moved into a new place and he didn't know anyone, so no one knows that dog is not going to be fed. Exactly. <laughs> well, I like didn't, that? He didn't tell anyone to watch exactly. it. Exactly. And he, and he realizes that he forgot. And that that's <laughs> yeah. like, it's a that whole. That would be so much more <laughs> <hard. laughs> <That's laughs> And he's trying to like. Yeah. He has a sh that kid has a sh dad. Yeah. yeah. If Ben Affleck dies in Iran, that kid will get a better dad yeah. from the person that mom dates. The kid is going to get fed. The yeah. kid is, yeah, he's not going to uh, go without food. The dog, however, would. I've only seen the first porn movie. You like I just, it. I just saw it for the first time. I think the Bourne films are you awesome. Like <laughs> I just call, I'm just started catching up with Bourne movies. Which is my A camera to look into. Which is the unhappy camera. There we go. Let me try that again. The thing about no, those you're not games. trying that again. Everybody recognizes that in Les Mis, Russell Crowe is dressed as Cap and Crunch, right? <laughs> Russell Crowe and Les Mis was like when they give uh, oh. the football player a part in the musical in high school. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is totally it. I mean, he's, <laughs> and, oh, it's, and he knows, like he's like, oh. I'm so does this count as all of our discussion of Blade Miz? Because uh, <laughs> yeah. that's enough, right? Uh, so Life of Pi, Life of Pi. Uh, I liked it. Yeah, well, you're wrong about that because it's not very good. <laughs> Lincoln is at least a deserving nominee. It's... I love Lincoln. I, I think it's a fun movie, and I think it's got a really good chance of winning if the rest of the entire thing wasn't just this horrible. Crooked, corrupt, fixed Harvey Weinstein bullshit. I don't think it's out of the race yet. I think that the year they keep citing is uh, '95, when mm -hmm. Apollo 13 was winning everything, right? And uh, Braveheart came in and won. Oh yeah. And that was like a big surprise. So Silver Linings Playbook, uh, your favorite movie of the year. Uh, I think it's my favorite of the essentially list. Essentially, you, what you think cinema should be. Uh, I love it. Which is like schlocky rom com that ends with uh, people getting better mm -hmm. from manic depression. The uh, dance competition. Yeah. All right. Good. I thought uh, it was great. Jeremy, we're done with talking to you. Jeremy. <laughs> uh, you know, it starts off fine. It, it it seems like a really interesting little quirky character dramedy, kind of in the uh, you know the way that David O. Russell. In the classic David in the Russell. The classic holds. David O. Russell style. But then, uh, then it gets very conventional, and you have a dance competition, and it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I found it kind of insulting by the end. It's his most conventional work. 
It is. Uh, I mean, I understand. The thing that. about Argo, though, is that like they look, <laughs> they actors look like the real people Kidding. from Argo. They had that whole thing at the end over the credits. Of yeah, they look, how the much they look the same. I like to see a movie where people look like the people from the thing. <laughs> That's the most important thing for me. Not if I like the actor. If That's they look like the people from the thing. Uh oh. He's very good. He's very good. House Seriously, of guys, what the. F yeah, welcome to Badass Digest. Uh, Hurrah! <laughs> so, okay, Zero Dark. Zero Dark Thirty, which I think uh, is the best movie of the year and the most important movie of the year. And I love it top to bottom, and I've seen it a couple times, and I think it's brilliant, I think it's moving. I, I, I wish Zero Dark Thirty would win. The also, I think Zero Dark Thirty is one of those movies that's of the moment, and it's about the What's world. It's happening and, right now. Right. Yeah, and, and it, so when, it's going to... It's going to be the film that endures. It's going to be the film that we'll be talking about. It's going to be the film that endures. It's going to be yes, Django it is. We already went over this, and you're wrong. Maybe let's drive through. Like, can we go to Sunset? We're gonna try to uh, do some uh, in and out. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. All right. You want uh, you want a double double? Oh yeah. All right. Larry, get a double double. I don't know what any of this stuff is. This is a double double. I didn't get prize, but I, we can. Now that we have our in and out, uh, which means we'll have something interesting to throw up later on. Let's make our predictions. You guys are gonna go on the record. Over delicious gonna, in and out. This is gonna count forever. So. Okay. Uh, short film live action. Assad, Bukazi Boys, oh, f that. Uh, best visual effects. The Hobbit, Life of Pi, Marvel's The Avengers, Prometheus, or Snow White and the Huntsman. <laughs> Life, Life of Pi. Because that tiger was Life all Life of Pi, Pi, what do you say? Totally. Yeah, I'm taking Life of Pi. Alright, I'm Are gonna go gonna with disagree? The Avengers just because. Oh, you don't. Somebody has to. Well, best original song? Adele. No, yeah, totally Skyfall. Cool. Yeah. You can't lose, right? She's awesome. Can we sing Skyfall? Will, uh, will Cinefix pay the money for us to clear uh, Skyfall? I hate everybody in this limo right now. Get me out of here. This show, I like when the show just devolves into chaos mm. and hatred. Essentially, that's, I think, the premise oh, of Ben Estes. <laughs> what is, is this coming out of your mouth? Foreign film is Mia Moore. We know that already. So let's not even bother with that. What about animation? Is okay, it Disney, Brave. Disney, Disney. It's Brave, it's Frank and Weenie. Disney. Brave, Frank and Weenie, Paranorman, The Pirates, and Wreck It Ralph. It's Wreck It Ralph, right? Everyone loves that one the most. Did anybody else cry at Frank and Weenie? No. Like, I wept like a f baby. Mm -hmm. It was like 10 in the morning, a scream. Dude, the dog dies like twice. And he comes back. It's like, it's yeah, like but he, he still dies. He comes back both times. He's the oh, biggest wow. cop out ever. Supporting actress Amy Adams, Sally Field. And Hathaway, Helen Hunt, Jackie Weaver. Yeah. I think that Jackie Weaver being in here is like the weirdest. Like that's the weirdest one. She didn't really because, do anything. Does she literally have a line in Silver Linings Playbook? I don't. Even, I don't even think she has a she line. Has, I was really surprised. She makes crabby cakes and homemade. Mm -hmm. So who do you think wins? It doesn't matter. Hathaway who's your is winning. Who's your guess? Hathaway. The only time I cried during a movie this year was her song in Lamas. Yeah, I think pe really because I cried during Frank and Winnie, and you cried during everything we've talked about so I far. I cried through most of these movies. Yeah, you know, mostly. I'm emotionally troubled. Um, <laughs> Larry, drive us into the river, please. <laughs> <laughs> Best actress: uh, Jessica Chastain, Jennifer Lawrence, Emmanuel Riva, uh, Quayvonge Wallis, uh, Wallis, Naomi Watts. Wallis. Wallis? Naomi Watts. Wallis. Quayvonge no. Wallis. No. No, I. Uh, you think Riva wins? No, Riva. I think Riva's going to win. I think she mm. beats Jennifer Lawrence in a shocker. I think it's one of the only moments in the Oscars where everybody goes, "Oh my goodness!" I think I see. I think you're right. I think everything else is, plays out. So we all think that uh, Daniel Lewis is going to win Best Actor, though, right? Yes, he does win. Best Picture. I'm not going to name them all. Who wins Best Picture? Lincoln. I think you guys are crazy. It's not going to be Argo. Argo. Eva, who wins Best Picture? Argo. How do you feel? How do you feel? Does, does it taste <laughs> like ashes to say that uh, to us? No, it's like when you know oh, you're going to the doctor and you know that prognosis is bad. You just prepare yourself ahead of time to sit in front of the doctor and hear the words. It's cancer. Argo won. <laughs> 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 uh, so, do you, uh, so you guys, are you going to be watching the Oscars this year? Will you be watching it live? I'm kind of busy. I have to go to Iran and rescue some hostages. <laughs> are you watching the Oscars? Of course I'm watching the Oscars. I mean, we're here, aren't we? I should totally yeah, watch the Oscars. That's not how Leave me alone. Yes, I'm watching the Oscars. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for making this uh, perhaps the most incoherent episode of my show yet. <laughs> can we end this by ripping off your plastic bag? You can bag? rip off my plastic bag. Uh, my name is Devin Faraci. Uh, this is our Oscar guests, uh, Jeremy Smith, Amy Nicholson, oh, God, Eva it's... Anderson. Uh, oh, and uh, this is Oscars 2013. And uh, tune in uh, again next week. I'll be doing something totally different, just as badass. I'm Devin Faraci. <laughs> this 
is badass digest. It is covered in sweat. <laughs> the bag is covered in sweat. This is not ripping. Is it really? Is Why it? isn't this ripping? Yeah, it is. It's oh really sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so damn. I give up. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.